I would also like to place on record the dexterity of the facilitator, who despite apparent tell, threat to her life, remained unwavering, stoic, and unshakable in her commitment to ensure that delegates reach consensus, even when the road appeared rough, bumpy, unpredictable, and fraught with anxieties and uncertainties. For having toiled this far with, with uncommon courage, patience, candor, dedication, and commitment, I would like to state that you have left your mark in the sands of time, and providence will not fail to judge you right whenever the history of social protection for empowerment of women and girls is being written. And I would like to pay a particular and heartfelt tribute to our facilitator and friend, Ambassador Koki Muli Grignon, for her truly Herculean efforts to bring us to agreed conclusions. She has personified the kind of resilience and persistence, sometimes against difficult odds, that makes the United Nations work. With all the difficulties and strain that come with these negotiations, we have agreed on conclusions and have thereby also contributed to the larger aim of the UN to find inclusive multilateral solutions to problems that concern us all and to further develop the international normative framework. Finally, let me also add that we strongly condemn the harassment and cyberbullying against our facilitator. This is simply unacceptable and we are heartened by the strong and united response of the membership against it. The UN must be a role model for the amicable settlement of differences and for fostering a culture of dialogue on the basis of mutual respect. We have just proved that this is possible and will do so in the future with zero tolerance for any kind of abuses among our midst. Thank you, Madam Chair. We'd like to take this opportunity to condemn in the strongest terms the pressure and harassment that have targeted our facilitator in the past few days. We'd also like to pay tribute to the spirit that has prevailed during these negotiations in spite of the challenges and the different stances on sensitive topics. Ambassador Kokimoli Grignon, we thank you for your hard work, long nights, and efforts as facilitator of the negotiations for these agreed conclusions. And we express our deepest solidarity for the situation of harassment you have recently experienced. For my country, any form of violence is unacceptable. We wish to express our gratitude to you and all the members of your team and UN Women for the results achieved. Uh, China delegation join others in expressing our appreciation to Ambassador Koki Genu in facilitating the agreed conclusions. We also expressed our deep concern over bullying and harassment towards our fellow diplomats for their principled position in the negotiations. My delegation expressed its indignation and condemnation for the harassment to which the facilitator of the agreed conclusion was subjected to whom we spread our solidarity. We reiterate the governmental nature of the negotiation and the need to maintain ethical conduct all the times. On behalf of Antigua and Barbuda, Bolivia, Chile, <coughs> Colombia, Costa Rica, the Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Honduras, Mexico, Uruguay, and my own country, Argentina. We wish to express our deep appreciation to you and all the members of your team as well as through the Bureau, the Secretariat, the staff of UN Women, and the facilitation team for the tireless efforts and professional work during the 63rd session of the CSW. We welcome the adoption by consensus of the agreed conclusions of the Commission, which will have a direct impact on the full achievement of the gender equality and empowerment of all women and girls, as well as the implementation of the 2030 Agenda. We recognize how complex the task has been. However, the number and extent of the proposals brought forward by delegations is a recognition of the importance that the member states of the UN attach to the priority theme of this year's session. We congratulate Ambassador Koki Muli Grignon for her excellent work as facilitator of the successful negotiation of the agreed conclusions. We express our strong support and recognition for all your efforts and persistence throughout this task. And we reject the unjustifiable and alarming harassment you were subjected during this process, dear Koki. 
such disturbing attempts that negatively affect the course of the negotiations are not only a personal offense to our dear facilitator, but they represent an unethical attack to multilateralism to all member states, the UN system, and most of all, to every woman and girl around the world. As we move forward, Chairperson, we must resolve that no one must harass and bully women in this most democratic and august house that is supposed to make us feel safe. No woman must feel violated by patriarchy, misogyny, and machoism in our lifetime. The UN must not allow member countries to apply scare, scare tactics and secondary victimization in this august house. There must be no domination of the majority by a few in the most democratic institution that is committed to the protection of women's rights and key populations as well as treating women's rights as human rights. I want to end by quoting our icon, Tata Nelson Mandela, when he said, I quote, freedom cannot be achieved unless women have been emancipated from all forms of oppression. I close quote, thank you. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Madam Chairperson, allow me at the outset to congratulate you on your leadership and your diligence in leading the process. And I, may I be allowed through you to congratulate Her Excellency Ambassador Koki Muligrignon on the enormous task that she has undertaken with integrity, neutrality, and decency. Thank you, Ambassador Koki, for leading by example. And allow me to reiterate the, Lebanon, the Lebanese delegation's solidarity with you personally in the face of incivility and impertinence. Thank you, Vice Chair, for all your support to all the delegations and the support that you gave to the Bureau. And I especially want to thank the facilitator, Ambassador Koki, without whom we would not have completed this complex process. And I also thank you for being able to continue to function under pressure and unprecedented attack on you. Truly, it tells you that women are very strong. As some people say, like a tea bag, to know how strong it is, you put it in hot water. As I end, I also want to thank you for the support that you have shown to Ambassador Koki after this unacceptable incident of cyberbullying. This has no place in the UN. It is important that we keep a high level of civility amongst ourselves. It is also important that the collegiality engagement that we have established is upheld because this is what makes this truly a special place to be and to engage. If we lose that, we take away one of the most important instruments that make multilateralism what you have made it to be. So thank you for the support and the fact that you are unanimous in condemning this action. Those of you who know me well know that I always speak in my own native language, uh, Irish, as I start. But actually tonight I'm going to try my hand at Swahili. Okay. Dear Koki, Dada Yangu, Rafiki Yangu, Asante Sana. The CSW is intended to be an exercise in respect, integrity, and tolerance, values we can never compromise on in this house. As one wise colleague commented to me this week, we all need to agree in dignity and disagree in grace. 
the completely outrageous and abusive behaviour towards our esteemed sister and colleague, Ambassador Cookie, belittles all of us. The campaign against her is a campaign against every diplomat in this House who steps up to the plate for the common good. We vigorously condemn those actions. <laughs>